This is KCTV English News. I'm Hee Jung Lee. It is estimated that 90% of the fourth round of provincial emergency disaster relief funds have been distributed. The province announced that it has distributed a total of 29.1 billion won of the fourth round of emergency disaster relief funds to 49,000 businesses in the province, including SMEs and travel agencies. Applications for the funds from seven fields out of eight have been closed, and applications from local artists will be received until the 18th. The government will review applications next month, including objections to suspensions. The average temperature in the province during the spring made the highest record in 60 years. According to an analysis of spring weather characteristics released by the Jeju Regional Meteorological Administration, the average temperature from March to May was 15.5 degrees Celsius, which was higher than the average 14 degrees Celsius. This temperature is the highest spring temperature in Jeju since 1961 when weather observations began. The Korea Meteorological Administration analyzed the trapped cold air from the Arctic that did not reach the Korean Peninsula and the La Nina phenomenon which kept the sea surface temperature high in the tropical western Pacific as the reasons for this year's unusual temperature. Tickets for the Olympic soccer team's friendly match led by head coach Kim ak Bum are on sale. The Korea Football Association announced that the Olympic soccer team will have two warm-up matches against Ghana at the Jeju World Cup Stadium on the 12th and the 15th. Admission tickets can be purchased three days before the game day for K-Fan members and two days in advance for the general public. In accordance with the COVID-19 quarantine guidelines, only a total of 2,000 seats will be sold, which is around 10% capacity of the World Cup Stadium. Jeju City will conduct a quarantine inspection of tourist accommodations by the end of this month, ahead of the peak tourist season. A total of 70 tourist accommodations and pensions near Hamdok, Hyopje, Gumnung Beach, and Jeju International Airport will be inspected. The inspection will focus on violations of maximum capacity per room, with limited access to banquet halls and bans on barbecue parties. If violations of quarantine rules are detected, they will be guided on the spot and fined if the violations are deemed intentional and serious. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Monet, Renoir and Chagall at the Bunker de Lumière. Get a guided tour in English of Jeju's beautiful Ole Walking Trails. Halim Park is showing bougainvillea flowers through June 20th. It is the season for hydrangea in Huidi Natural Park. Come and visit the Hydrangea Festival. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Be sure to follow us on YouTube at KCTV E! News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great evening.